They are the hardest working folks in Hollywood. Trouble is, you just can't place their faces. But there's no mistaking the voices. NBC's Michael Oku has more. Do you know who these guys are? Chances are, you don't have a clue. You look like that guy from The Sopranos. Is this Quentin Tarantino? No one knows their faces, but you live with them. On your TV, your car radio, at the movies. An all-new 24. Peter Pan Platinum Edition. On An all-new Lincoln Heights. When tragedy strikes a family. They're the voices in your head. When you're in a movie theater, it's almost as if your seatmate is leaning in and whispering to you and telling you about this wonderful story. The clues don't come from a ghost. Joe Cipriano is a voiceover a artist. Toy. Take an all-new look at the life of TV's most beloved character. Oh! And it all starts now. His office, through the magic of technology, right here in his Beverly Hills home where he puts in a full day's work all over the country. On an all-new medium. Not so long ago, the voiceover world was dominated by a few network greats like NBC's Danny Dark. Bonanza, brought to you by Chevrolet. And ABC's Ernie Anderson. Herman Wokes, the winds of war. They were the voice of, of God-type voices. Until, that is, God reinvented himself. He became a true champion in his search for the real story. He is the Don. He's the guy. Once in a lifetime, something comes along that changes. Don LaFontaine's voice has been the staple of movie trailers, promos, and ads for more than four decades. He is Special Agent John Kruger. The greatest threat is making a world of difference. You may have heard him recently shilling for Geico. When the storm hit, both our cars were totally underwater. In a world where both of our cars were totally underwater. The reason that we, we started originally was... You know, you're taking an entire group of people, a whole audience, and you are going to now very quickly transport them into another time frame. In a city where anything can happen. The old cliches, of course, in a world and in a place and in a time and all that, which everybody jokes about, in a world, and everybody laughs. Right. But when you're in a theater, nobody laughs. And if you think anyone can do this, think again. Tonight on Deal or No Deal. One person has the chance to win one million dollars. Tonight on Deal or No Deal, one person has one chance. <laughs> I, the words are the key. Uh, what we do with the words is, is our own little thing, but the words are the key. And, and what those words mean and what they imply and what they invite and what they urge. Finally releasing from the Disney vault. Mark Elliott is the unmistakable voice of Disney. Walt Disney's magical classic that taught us to believe. Only for a limited time. On the new CW. But listen and watch the antics of movie trailer and primetime voice George DeLoyo. I always say, it's not my voice that I'm worried about, it's my arms. Because without my arms, I can't speak, you know. An all-new Lincoln Heights. A manhunt leads to all-out war. I actually can see the words in front of me and I and, and, and shorten them and, and lengthen them. American Idol at 87 Central. As long as he can remember, oh, 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 oh. Mumble never quite fit in. Almost as if you're conducting yourself. Being a voice isn't as simple as it looks. In a world where the walls are closing in. It takes talent to be consistent and convincing. One man will prevail through trial and error. But the ones who hit it big can make millions. Payback. This time, it's for real. Michael Oku, he's back. He's back. He's back. <laughs> the day he came back. <laughs> for today. For today. For today. Michael Oku, NBC News, Los Angeles. And we'll be back with more of today right after this. In a world gone mad.